All right, this is my informative speech, and here's my two audience members. Okay. All right, I've talked to you about how Plato was accidentally invented. <laughs> uh, and I started with a, with a, uh, a quote by Sam Biddle said, sometimes genius arrives not by choice, but by chance. And I'm going to inform you about how Cl Plato came to be. Uh, the person responsible is actually a family. Uh, it is no the McVickers family, Noah McVickers and Joseph McVickers. Uh, it was they, they owned a company called Catal Products, and uh, the company actually made uh, Plato originally as a wallpaper cleaning product, and it kind of it, it did well as that, but. Then teachers and schools started using it for um, uh, for arts and crafts and modeling and structuring, and uh, they liked it because it was it was non toxic and it wouldn't hurt their kids or things like that. And they started using it in schools in in Cincinnati, and uh, and then in 1956, Catal started the Rainbow Crafts Company, which exclusively marketed Plato and then also in 1956 Wonderopolis wrote that it was brought into the mainstream by Macy's and Marshall and Fields and its invention was significant because it saved Catal products from uh, being near bankruptcy and it was added to the toy industry's uh, century of toys list top 100 toys uh, ever invented and um, it was also made Time Magazine's all-time 100 Greatest Toys list by Townsend. Uh, so with that, today I just wanted to give some information about how Plato came to be and who did it and why it was important. And in Plato's first year production, Rainbow Crafts made almost $3 million dollars uh, with an estimated 700 million pounds of Play-Doh. So now it's made by the Hasbro company and still exists today because the kids are still grinding it in the carpets as I know because I just picked some out of the carpet yesterday. All right, thank you.